Yo, for as long as I can remember, NBA referees have always played more of a role than I think they should have. And that can be misinterpreted. But what I mean by that is that I think they should just officiate the game to make sure no rules are being broken. Nothing more, nothing less. But that's not how it is in the NBA. What we get is these guys out here dictating the game, calling these garbage fouls, ignoring blatant traveling. We all know they don't call traveling in the NBA. And handing out texts and ejections every time somebody so much as hurts their feelings. We seen players get tossed for garbage. And I know some of y'all gonna be like, oh, D-Brown, it's not that bad. But it is that bad, and I got some examples. The first being the recently retired GOAT of the NBA referees, Joey Crawford. This man was this man is the most popular referee in NBA history, and why is that? For his horrible calls. This man once ejected Tim Duncan. I say that again. He ejected Tim Duncan of all people. Why did he eject Tim Duncan? You may ask. He ejected Tim Duncan for laughing. Not only was Tim Duncan just laughing, he was laughing on the bench. He wasn't even in the game. He laughed at a call the referee made while he was on the bench. And Joey Crawford ejected this man. He gave him two texts for laughing on the bench. And you know it's real when a, a referee has a hoop mixtape. This man has a hoop mixtape of like his worst calls. There are multiple videos on YouTube that are longer than five minutes of this dude just making horrible calls. And he's not the only one though. Think about it. Over the years of you watching basketball, how many times have you seen a blown call, especially in the last few minutes of a fourth, that result in fans just booing the crap out of a referee. I remember last year in the playoffs, in the Rockets Warriors series in game three, at the very end of the game, James Harden pushed off Iggy for a game winning shot. It was so obvious that the only way it could have been more obviously an offensive foul is if James Harden pulled out a nine and shot him in the kneecap. That would be the only way that you would be able to make it more obvious. Like this dude, like he basically threw a punch. He just he just pushed him off with his elbow and nothing. And we end up losing game three for that reason. And I feel like the solution to this is simple. The solution to get all these referees to stop with these bum calls, start finding the referees. The refs get to hand out texts and ejections without anybody to answer to. And these calls result in fines worth tens of thousands of dollars. And these players have to pay these fines because these referees just get to choose however they want to dictate the game. When a referee does a poor job of when, when a referee does a poor job of doing their job, they just they just have to somebody tells them after the game, oh you missed this call. And the league has to admit to it and the, the referee has to apologize. That's not enough. Give them a reason to be on their A game. I'm aware that they don't make make nearly as much as the players do, but if players are charged for not are fined for not doing their job properly, the people in charge of making those calls should be charged for doing the same thing. Just the other night, John Wall got ejected for slightly brushing up against the referee's shoulder. If that referee knew in the back of his head, oh, I better not make no bullshit call or I'm gonna get fined, he would not have thrown John Wall out of that game for doing something as simple as brushing up against his shoulder. Do you understand the ego behind some of these referees? To throw that man out of the game for brushing up against his shoulder, oh, John, oh, you any of these players touch me, you getting ejected from the game. Don't even look at me. As a matter of fact, another example was way back in the day when Rasheed Wallace played for the Blazers. He got ejected for staring at a ref. A referee literally ejected Rasheed Wallace for staring at him. And Rasheed Wallace wasn't even in the game. Rasheed Wallace was on the bench. But my solution to all of this is very simple and it could be easily implemented. Just start finding the referees, not as much as you would find the players, obviously, but find these guys, give them incentive to do their job properly, and it will make the NBA much better.